Mom's alive. I repeat, Mom is alive. And Grace texted me, and now I that I'm trying to watch the live stream. And Grace, Mom is live. or is happening that we're trying to figure out um but me and Catherine do the q a uh stuff at the end we like hold mics and things so we still have work to do um it's just like the general helping out i guess they don't want us doing it anymore because it's <laughs> we it's like, up the guy. oh wanna, my like, gosh make it more difficult you know i don't want to be a nuisance for everybody she's so pretty because like i i want to help so and it's like everything worse you know um so we got to figure out what's what's the best way that we can help out. Um, so I got to go pack more VIP bags because, oh my God! So one of the things that we have in the bags got misprinted. So like there are five hundred of them that were printed. It's like the Mark logo upside down. <laughs> so we have to. They're shipping a bunch of them to Indy, so we're gonna have to pack more VIP bags uh, there because we started opening boxes and we're like these are all messed up. So we're giving those out on stage now because they're like or stash because they're upside down. I don't know. That's our excuse. <laughs> So we just have all these ones that we can't use now. Um, we're gonna do more shows? Yeah, uh, I mean, like the plan with this leg of the tour was to see how it goes, and like if we like it, and if it works, and then we'd kind of go from there. It was like kind of a test run. Um, but judging by yesterday and like the response, we're gonna keep going with it, and we're gonna, you know, do East Coast, West Coast. And like they've already talked about international, but we're like, that's, terrifying so that won't be for a little bit if we end up doing it um, that's just like a decision we'd have to make like apparently she's been live for a little bit i was like okay it's, for a while it I takes so much out of you so i don't know but end of this year there'll be more i would say it would have to be it'd be crazy if we didn't keep doing it come to arizona i would love to you can try i want to hit boston that's like my number one we got to go to boston that's what i'm pushing for where's chica she's at the farm what the farm which is actually legitimate she's at a farm um the she's place a farm because like there's like a normal kennel that we'll keep her at if we're gone for like a night or two um but like way further out there's a a place that we know where it's like it's not like a kennel you know it's like a a chill place <laughs> um but she actually loves going because the kennel she's great at the kennel until it's like separation time like you walk her back and then she's like oh no wait um which is always hard so this place she like I'll just fucking run off and be like, okay, bye, I'll see you. Never. She's probably happier there than my bus. Ohio, I would love to go back to Ohio. That's what I was hoping this, like, we could do, but I think because, because we didn't pick the locations, because um, we kind of planned this last minute, um, I think a lot of it was, like, budgeting and, like, what venues we could get, like, in a short time frame, you know? So that's kind of how they were picked. Hello. Yeah, you can come in. I'm just chatting. Are you doing a live stream? Yeah, dude. Nice oh, mic. I saw it. 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 Fam, it's so lit. It's lit. It's lit. It's uh -huh. lit. Yeah, far uh -huh. and far. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, bye. bye. You're doing great. Bye. <laughs> bye. Perfect. Best live stream 2017. You want to protect this heat? It's so nice. Although we haven't been outside. I like, I saw the sun when I walked in here and I haven't seen the sun since. Uh, we we did our rehearsals in like this casino in Oklahoma. Um, and we didn't go outside for four days. And we didn't realize until we went to like drive because we rented vans to get down to Texas. And we drove because it was only like four and a half hours. Um, and then we got the tour buses here in Texas. Really marked up the guys. Oh, we had the venue now. Yeah. We're like, oh no. Just crawling out of the casino, out of the darkness. The heat's awful. No, I mean, I don't long-term like it but short-term it's nice um no i grew up in charleston so i'm used to like the really humid hot gross sticky bugs you know um but i'm so I glad i finally have a phone back ever again. i'll visit though she's so pretty um, yeah houston's cool so far i like it yeah it's not as it's not super sticky here at least not yet i'm sure it gets worse later I love Amy so Atlanta, much. Atlanta, maybe. I don't know where we're going. It just kind of depends on what venues we can get. I'd love to do Canada. I feel like Canada would be a good starter for international, but... Oh. I mean, I know 
nothing about tour planning, so who knows? Yeah, it's hot. It is. Gang's doing good. Everyone slept well except for me. <laughs> it's weird. It just kind of rocks you to sleep on the bus because you just kind of bounce and it's really loud. Florida? Florida would be fun. Ohio, yes, please. And all of our families are going to the indie shows because we're not going to Ohio. So my parents will be in Indy in a couple of days. That'll be fun. They get to watch it. Gotta get them some earplugs so I feel bad. Because <laughs> it's the first thing that they've been to or that they'll like go to that's like a, a Markiplier event, you know? So like they don't know what that's like. <laughs> so that'll be a weird one. Um, but I'm excited for them to see it because it's a good show. I'd go walk around the venue, but the guys have already shown it off in their, uh, they're practicing, I think. I don't know what they're doing. Warm-ups. Where's Marzipan? Our, uh, my old roommate, my friend Kira, um, knew Catherine Neuer in college, is, uh, yeah, she was my old roommate, um, before I just moved in with Catherine. Um, and now she's staying at our place while we're here and watching Marzipan, and she seems very happy, which is good. Yeah, I moved, me and Catherine moved in together. We used to live together in Boston, um, and then I moved out here, and she stayed in Boston for that summer before she moved for Mark Offer to the job, so we didn't live together. Um, yeah, but we just got a place. It's really cute. It's good living together. We live together well. I love her earrings! Oh, I'm, show. I'm sorry. I am tired. You're right. I'm very tired. <laughs> She's so pretty. I can sneak. Do we want to do a sneak? Tell Catherine hi. I will. She's upstairs editing a video, I think. She's getting some videos done for the guys. Being all productive and helpful. Yeah, dress up as Wilford. There was a Wilford uh, yesterday who came up on stage. She's mm. cute. Hmm. I did not know. <laughs> She's like, I cannot go. Do a sneak? Okay, I'll do a sneak. She's not even up there anymore. My shirt, my tour shirt that I stole. I should drop off money for them. I don't think they're, I don't know how intensely they're counting money because I just grabbed a shirt. I'm like, I hope they aren't like thinking that they're missing one, but I'm sure it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna do a flip. Hi. Oh, oh she's so pretty. Dressing room or one of the dressing rooms. I'm not gonna be on stage. Um, I come out to help at the end, but I'm not, no performer. That's just the boys. Mm. Was it a good time to be at this show? I don't know when doors open here, but I know VIP gets in an hour earlier um, than normal ones for this show specifically. Look at the cool mural. Apparently, Amy Ramirandas Miranda's comments. Right, let's see where everybody is. At least go spy on Catherine. The boys are boring. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <sighs> do do do. Where is everybody? <laughs> Catherine, I found you. I'm streaming. You want to say hi? Mm -hmm. I'm doing a stream. Oh, hey! <laughs> I'm just going to force you into this. Can I complain about Ethan on your stream? Please complain about Ethan. They want to hear it. We don't want some Mario Kart collab. We didn't see the game footage. Uh, oh. <laughs> Wait, I thought you had found that. No, Wasn't it the issue you were having before? No. Like, you know where you go down, up, down, up, down, up, so that the face cams match the because there's Yeah. So now I just have to, are you going to do your face under Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Everyone says hi. We're sending you lots of hearts. Hi. I was going to go spy. Yes, complain about Ethan. I was going to go spy on them on stage, but I don't know what they're doing, and I don't want to give spoilers. Mark is just in here. The fuck? No, Ethan came downstairs. Yeah, I asked and him. And peaked. Oh, ah, well, he was downstairs, and then he disappeared. All right, let's go see what they're doing. I think it's spoilery. Spoilery, I'll bail. Do you guys want some sandwiches? We've been living off Jersey Mike, so they're, apparently they're getting us pasta. Oh, Very yeah. exciting. I want pasta. I want pasta now. This is the uh, upstairs bit of the stage. Why am I recording this? Oh, because I'm weird. Second girl you gave the mic to? Oh, hi! Hi, nice to see ya! Hey, look, there's my logo. I made that, although I don't like it very much. 
watch because it wasn't supposed to be the logo. Mm. That's some drama for ya. Oh, it's dark. It's very dark. I hear someone say woohoo. <laughs> oh boy. Oh I boy. I give anything away, so I'm bailing. I'm bailing, I'm bailing. <laughs> I love her. No, let me tell you a thing about that logo, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fine, like, it's totally fine. Um, but can you hear me talk about this? Because all I do is bitch about it. Um, because originally they were like, oh, shit, we need a logo. And I'm like, well, I can work on, like, a... Because we have, like, a designer and stuff, like, on the tour, too. Who did all the, like, the backdrops and stuff, you know? Um... And they're like, oh yeah, we'll make the logo, but like, do you have some kind of like mock-up or like just kind of an idea of what you want? And I'm like, oh, it's something else so you can like get the idea because Mark wanted some kind of neon like, you know, like what it is. Um, and I'm like, I'll do that. So I made a couple and they're like, oh, we like this one. We'll work with that. And then that, like they announced the tickets and that was just what they used. So I'm like, no, no, I made that in like four hours. So you'd have a reference and now it's what we're using. <laughs> And it's like, it's fine, because it's good, and like, I like it, but it's kind of a bummer, because it's like the one thing that everyone is seeing, and I'm like, it's, I'm not proud of it, you know? Like, I would have put way more time into it had I known that they were going to use it. Um, so that's my complaint, but it's fine. <coughs> like, it's printed on everything, and I don't, <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, well. Oh, well. So they were like, oh, well. You can redo it for the next leg of the tour, but I don't know if it should just stay cohesive, you know? I don't want to make a new one. Make a new one for the fall? Yeah, I wasn't sure if it would be weird to, to like, make a different one. Because that was just some of the stuff that we were talking about with, like, changing up VIP bags and stuff for the new leg, because we don't want to feel like the first leg of the tour didn't get, you know, like, what the rest of the tour gets. Um, so who knows? But that's not my job with a lot of this. Taking a graphic design class? Hell yeah! Good choice. When did I bleach my hair? I bleached my hair after I cut it all off and then there was nothing else I could do with it. Cause uh, right before college I chopped all my hair off. So it was kind of like bowl cut length, I don't know what you call that. Um, and then I kept cutting it shorter and shorter until it was like, maybe like this long at its shortest, like an inch or so, maybe a little less, half an inch, something. So I had no hair and I'm like, but I still want to do stuff with my hair. So I bleached it and then I've been bleaching it since then. I want to do the thing, like, it's the new trendy hair that, like, Miley Cyrus has and stuff, where it's, like, her roots way grown out. Um, but the problem is my two options there are either going to hiding for, like, six months as it grows out and looks stupid, or um, if I dyed, the problem is if I dye the top half dark, you know what I mean? Um, I could never bleach it again, so eventually I would just have to have dark hair again, which I don't know if I want to do. But I'm bored of the blonde, so. But I love the blonde! No. Do I have a pick of my short hair? I posted one on uh, Twitter, but there aren't very many. I didn't have a lot of pics. At least not a lot of cute ones. Uh, dye it a color. Why did I take the yellow out? Because it's a pain to maintain, and as soon as it started to fade, it just looked weird. Um, I think it's fine. I might do it again. I have the dye. Is it hard to manage bleached hair? It's expensive. Or at least if you like get it done. If you had a friend do it, I mean, it wouldn't be, but I'm too nervous. I've bleached the ends before, but I would be nervous about bleaching the roots by myself because I don't want my hair to fall out or be dead. Um, but I have to get it done every five weeks or so, so it is. It's a pricey habit, to be yeah. honest. But it's like my one, like, fancy thing that I do. Self-care thing, so. That's why I do it. Pink at the ends would be cute. Oh, that would be cute. I don't know. I'm also wishy-washy on color stuff. Like, it sounds cool one day, and the next day I'm like, I don't want that at all. Have I been to North Carolina? Yeah. My, uh, my grandparents live in North Carolina. <gasps> and I grew up in South Carolina, so I was there all the time. <laughs> Sometimes. Not a lot. Um, but we, like, chat and Snapchat and stuff. Casually. Like the rest of that gang. <laughs> hair. I'm not that calm. <laughs> Does it fade? It gets brassy. It gets like real yellow. Right now it's okay. Uh, Cause the girl who does my hair, she makes me like this custom conditioner made out of the toner. Um, so it stays pretty well, but it does get yellow. Um, like at the end of the month. Yeah, where do you live in South Carolina? South Carolina's the best. 
I was in Mount Pleasant specifically, but like Charleston, if you don't know the area. But yeah, I grew up there from, I moved there from Chicago in kindergarten. <laughs> and then I moved to Ohio at the beginning of high school, like a year into high school, sophomore year. Alien hair, what does that mean? I'll make a video. I I was going to put a video up before I left, and then Mark stole the hard drive that I told him not to steal, so I couldn't. That's my excuse. Although it's not an excuse, because it's all edited, but I didn't have a chance to do the video. So that'll come out as soon as I get back from the tour. And I'm recording some vlog stuff here, but I don't know if it'll piece together. But I have footage, so. Maybe I'll do, like, a, what I brought on the bus. You know, whatever. House Texas, it's lovely. Yeah, North Carolina. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm working on the video. Wait, did you see my comment? When there was crazy with prep. Um, did you just see my comment? Like my actual job, so <laughs> it's my priority. Did um, did you just we see the like 20 videos of the day before we left is <laughs> bad. Did you see I'll, my... I'll show you the inside of the bus later. Um, I was going to go film in there, but I think the driver was sleeping, so I didn't want to barge in. Where's that? Do, do, do. Yeah, we were rushing to get videos out, as always. Well, because like, we wanted to do a bunch of like challenges and stuff, too, but that took up like a couple days. So as far as like editing Let's Plays and thumbnails and things, that was... A scramble as it is. I think she saw my I comment. I wouldn't call it fame. Attention, which is weird. I've gotten more comfortable with it, I guess. I don't know. It's just one of those things that comes with the territory. But chatting is fun. No, I don't get any hate. I mean, like, it's the same people who have been doing it for years, so. A year now, I guess. Apparently it's been since people know about me. So it doesn't, like, bother me because it's just the same people. <laughs> I'm never going to win them over, so whatever. First kiss was until, it was like mid-high school, I think. I was probably like 16. Nothing noteworthy. How did you beat Bark? It's a mystery. It's a big old mystery. Come on. No one will ever know. It's a secret. It's not a secret. I didn't really know who he was, so, well, like, I knew of him, oh. um, but I, I had never seen one of his videos when we met. I knew, I had seen him in, uh, that one episode of Table Flip, the Grumps, the old, like, Grumps, uh, board game show, um, the one where they play Haunting Hill, Haunting on the Hill. I bought the game because of that episode, it's really fun, um, so I knew that, like, he knew the Grumps, but that was it. And then I obsessively watched his videos for, like, a month. It was all creepy, like, <laughs> I saw some, uh, there was some tweet or something, and they were, like, um, headcanon Amy watching all of Mark's videos. Okay, there we go, we're back. Do, 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 do. I should go help. In a few minutes, I'll go. Can you collab with Sina and Marzia? I mean, we live on opposite sides of the world, so it's kind of tricky. I don't know how that would work. Maybe I'd like, if we end up going to West, which I don't know, probably a West, but maybe we could do something there. It could be fun. No, I didn't really know about his channel before we met. I knew that he existed. I knew the name. But how did I meet Catherine? We went to school together. Yeah, we, um, we had six hours of class in a row together because uh, we both have our degrees in interactive media. Um, and we were idiots and decided to take three two-hour classes in a row together. Um, so we just like worked together a lot. And then I came out to LA for an internship and she was in Boston. Uh, and then we talked a lot because I had met Mark and she was the only person who like knew what that meant or whatever, you know, cause like none of my friends from like Ohio or like from home, like were like, oh, I understand what's happening. You know, <laughs> like Catherine, like we weren't even, we were like school friends. We weren't like friends, friends, but I was like, yo, Yo, do you understand what's going on? And she's like, oh my god. Um, so we were, she was like my go-to for that. Um, and then I went back to Boston to finish up my degree and we lived together because she had an empty room in her apartment. And then I moved here and then she came out here because she goes to VidCon every year. She came, she's been to VidCon like for seven years in a row. 
And I was there with Mark, um, and she went because she just goes. And that was when he offered her that job. And then she moved out here. And then I started working for Mark after I quit my old job. Yeah, yeah I left my old job like, God, I don't know how long it's been now. It was in the fall. It's probably been like eight months or something now. Not eight, No, it couldn't have been that long. It doesn't feel like it's been very long, but I guess it has. Hmm. He lives with Mark. He lives by himself. I live with Catherine. Ethan lives by himself. Tyler has a roommate. Awkward occurrence at a meetup? I don't think I've had any, like, in particular. Where did I intern? I don't want to talk specifics. Um. No. But it was a, uh, oh. it was a marketing. No. Oh, they're not marketing. They were a digital advertising agency, um. So we made, like, websites and all the digital promo content for, like, Fox Universal Films. So, like, a lot of, like, big hmm. films. We did uh, all their websites. That's cool. Really fun. It was a really good job. Um, but it was just, like, I was basically working. Like, they knew about Mark and stuff. Um, so when I left, it wasn't a big deal. And they were like, we figured this would be happening. And I can always go back there. Um, like, I kind of have a relationship with them. Um, but... Yeah, I was kind of working two jobs, like, with, at that company, and then I was already helping Mark out with stuff, so it was just, like, a lot of work and not a lot of sleep or hanging out with anyone. No, we don't live together. Nah, we're not at that point. We don't, we already work together. <laughs> that would be a lot all at once. No, we don't live together. We like having our space. We are walking distance from each other, though, so it's just, like, we meet up all the time, get coffee and stuff. Oh. I miss Chica. Yeah, I miss her a lot. I'd love to go to England. I want to go back to Brighton. Really bad. Like, not in the winter. <laughs> Except last time we were sick for, like, a month and a half after, so... That, that would be bad if that happened again. We don't have time to get sick. Coming to VidCon? Hell yeah, I am. Excited for VidCon. It's, like, right after we get back from the tour. Oh, my God. It's like that weekend. Um, yeah, VidCon will be fun. I mean, VidCon is such a weird one. It's so different. It's like you go into a different reality for three days. Because <laughs> uh, it's like, it's the one convention that's like, if you go to the PAXs, they're for games, and then like the creators are kind of like a secondary thing. Like, yeah, some people go just like to see Mark or whatever, but they're not the main like premise, you know what I mean? Like, they're not the reason for it. Um, but like, VidCon is all, like, fans and creators, and, like, you are the, like, the reason that people are there, which gets this, like, super weird dynamic going, like, this weird, like, mob mentality that's very stressful, so it's a stressful one, um, and it's, like, the, the most intense one by far, and there's not much for us to do, because, like, like, I could, technically, I would be, like, allowed to walk around, although I don't know if I will, um, because I might get crazy, but, um, like, Mark and them, they're not allowed to walk on the main floor. Hmm. Like, they sign a thing, and they're like, I'm not going to walk around. Because um, you can't, you know? Like, they had tons of security last year, and it still got really scary. Um, like, you have to stay backstage. So it's just a lot of sitting around. But since everyone's there, it's fun, because then you get to talk to all the other creators, and I get to see people that I really like and be real creepy about it. <laughs> Going to Dodie's show and all of that. Which will be fun. Like, um... It was, who was it? Oh, we were on the side stage for, um, it's like the, I forget, it was like Hank and everyone, that's like the big music thing that they do one of the nights. Um, and it was just like me and Catherine, um, and then it was like John Green and his like scary mafia bodyguard, <laughs> which is so strange. Oh man, so funny. Life is strange. I drove to, um, Chicago with one of my best friends, Monica, back in high school to meet John and Hank. Um, because we were big Vlogbrothers fans at the time. We went to LeakyCon. If anyone knows about LeakyCon, we saw, um, Harry Potter Senior Year live, which was the pinnacle of the, uh, my Star Kid days. Of course I'm a fan of Dodie. Who isn't? <gasps> oh. I don't trust anyone who's not a fan of Dodie. I'm not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do more YouTube videos? I want to. I want to get, like, actually into it. 
it's just a timing thing. And, like, I don't know. I'll, I do it when I can, or I want to, like, work at it more. Yeah, you know about LeakyCon? I, th I think they changed the name. Like, it's not LeakyCon anymore. Unless they brought it back. I don't know. I still get emails from them. Going back to my natural hair color? I want to at some point. But it's like I can never go back to blonde once I do it. So it's a commitment. Yeah, I saw Harry Potter Senior Year live. It was crazy. It was so good. Insane. I love her smile! Yeah, I saw that. And then I also went to their um, skip tour when they were touring for that. It's real into it. <laughs> Me and Catherine were, were listening to... Uh, kind of like just a best of star kid um when we were packing vip bags and the guys had no idea what we were doing we we're like don't worry about it because we we're like at theaters and stuff so it made us like real sentimental oh <sighs> do i like undertale i mean yeah i played it yeah it's fun it's a good game all right i should probably go I should probably go help out now, because Catherine's probably done with that video. So we can go pack bags. How long have Catherine and I known each other? I guess two, three years now. We knew, like, each other vaguely when we were, like, juniors in college. Because we worked on this really shit animation. Project together. <laughs> what they want. Uh, go back, please. <laughs> I love Amy so much. That's a fucking nightmare. So we bonded during that. And then we took all those classes together. What's my Snapchat? I think it's pupils.jpg. JPG. I think is what it is. Alright, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you guys later though. Maybe we'll do a, a tour bus tour. Tonight. Ooh. Alright. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. 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 And love. She's so beautiful. I love her so much. Why is she so perfect? <laughs> like, why is she so perfect? It makes no sense to me. Oh no. Oh no. It's stupid. That is stupid. I'm just trying for this now. She's so beautiful. <laughs> Help me. She's so beautiful. Beautiful little alien. Oh, I love her so much. <laughs> Don't judge me. Oh, I love her so much. I, I want to marry her. Amy. Oh, I saw the I saw the thing that said Amy. It was him. And I'm dying from adorableness for no odd reason. <laughs> I'm so happy at the moment. Ah, she's so pretty. Well, <laughs> help me, Lord. I am so happy for no odd reason. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go before I get too weird. She's beautiful, and I love her so much. If you give her hate, then I do not understand you at all. If you dislike her at all, I just don't understand you at all. I met someone on Twitter recently that actually said that she disliked Amy. And I'm just sitting here like, how could you love this this woman, this beautiful woman? Look at her. She is, like, one of the prettiest women in the world. And they also did not, like, like they didn't, like, Amy ply or set tissue at all or something. And I'm, it's just like, what? Are you, are you, are, are, are you kidding me? Like, I understand, like, respect and things, but it's just like, how could you not like them at all? It makes no sense to me how you could dislike them. Just, I just. I, I love her so much. 
I love her and seeing you and I just I just love love I'm I'm sorry. I, I need help. I love Amy so much. She's like my favorite female human in the whole entire world. Like she is so beautiful and talented in her own way and just yes. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm just a fangirling mess.